also known as Dragonfly 7673. Um, today is Tuesday, March 18th. I am trying to do a very fast recording today. Um, the I've got a lot of stuff going on and um, yesterday and today I am having homework time with my son at a distance. Thank God for things like Google Drive and Skype. But anyway, we're starting uh, around 6.30 and it is 6.10 so he won't care if I'm a little bit late but um, I if I didn't record today it wasn't going to happen until after I get back from Canada and that would put you guys at a without any recordings for a little while and I have actually done things so I wanted to show you um, I did want to say I shipped out prizes for everyone that I had addresses for there are three people, um, and I do not remember who, but there are three people who have not yet given me their addresses. I know one of them is Knitter2, and then the other two I don't remember right now. Um, and normally I would have sent a uh, ear burn, but because there's no way I can ship them before I get back from Canada, I figured I'll just wait and see if they pay attention. <laughs> Maybe... Uh, See ya. Rewatch next week and so watch for their names or their projects. I got a lot of nice feedback about the way I did the prizes last week with having the project picture and the name um, and the prize. So I will probably continue doing that going forward. Um, and at the end of this episode, I'm going to post a couple, some pictures from some of the projects that have been posted on both the comfort shawl and the inspiration along because there's some neat things and I haven't had time to like call people out and you know tell them what a fabulous job I think they're doing I'm just swamped um, but I do I am going to be stealing pictures and putting them in but I said I have made progress on things um, I don't remember which squares you saw I think you saw this this one you saw for sure um, and then I think you saw this one, and these are for the um, Blood Center of Wisconsin Threads of Compassion. Uh, we're doing the comfort shawls for them, and thank you so much, so much, uh, Kathy, who is KPAR62. She sent three shawls. Um, Mom took pictures of them yesterday. In fact, I'm going to stop real quick and put pictures of her shawls here. Shawls, and she do sent a um, yarn donation that I can decide what I want to do with. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know I have had a couple other people contact me, and um, another Kathy, <laughs> who is going to be mailing to Mom as well, and um, some other people who are going to donate a shawl and maybe some prizes. So, yay. Speaking of prizes, I did fit, put all the prizes into the Inspiration Along and the Comfort Shawl. Now there are a lot more prizes in the Comfort Shawl because this is, as I've said, you know, since we've been talking about this year, um, this is the one that really means a lot. This is um, for me and the family. So um, it's the one where I really want to put the effort. It's also the one that takes the most commitment from you guys. Um, snuggles are important and they take some time, but they go relatively quick. Um, when we get to hats for Halos of Hope, those go quick. Bears go pretty quick. Um, when we get to the you know, purple hats, go pretty quick. You know, so there's a lot of um, those things go faster. This huge comfort shawl takes significant time and it takes and it takes some money to um, you know because even line brand homespun is not necessarily cheap so I mean it's cheaper than some other yarns but I, we still recognize the commitment so but anyway Blood Center Wisconsin is also going to be doing yarn bombing of different donation sites and so so far I have five squares done. Mine are all different and unfortunately they're also slightly different sizes. 
but I'm guessing that when they get them they're going to be all different slightly different sizes anyway because you have all different people um, making them and I was going to try and go to the meeting last week and it just didn't work out um, da, 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 da. Uh, speaking of shawls I have started another one this one is rectangular um, green and blue stripes of homes, homespun it took me a couple tries to figure out what I wanted to do for a shawl because the homespun, oops, I'm showing you the back side with the strings um, that I haven't woven in yet. The homespun is very hard to see where the stitches are and I was getting really frustrated and eventually this is actually from Crochet, Crochet Geek and I happened to find the YouTube video and then I found her site later. Um, it's the pattern is actually for a baby blanket um, with a slanted uh, slanted shell or something like that because the each of the rows goes, you know, one row goes this way and the next row goes this way but um, I'm just adapting it to make it the correct width and length for the comfort shawl so it is very soft I'm going to need more yarn though um, I I am just about finished with the first ball of blue and I already finished the first ball of green and it is not halfway which means another ball of blue and green is not going to actually finish this so um, now and let me post a picture of that real quick because it's a little hard while I'm holding it up All right, now this is something the best friend's been laughing at me for. I finished my, well, I finished my socks on a plane. Um, in fact, I am wearing them right now, which makes them hard to show you, but let me post a picture right here. All right, now we went to see Imagine Dragons last week. And it was a fabulous concert. Um, I'm not a big Imagine Dragons fan. You know, I know the couple songs on the radio and that's it. The but best friend is. And so this was a really special thing, you know, we were going to do. I got him the tickets for Christmas. And um, before we leave, I was like, crap, I have nothing to knit. And because I had finished my socks. So I grabbed this yarn off the shelf because it was already wound. Now years ago I bought this in Wausau, Wisconsin and the woman there wound it for me and she wound it a little oddly and she lost a tag. But it, I knew it was um, Mountain Colors and I'm pretty sure it's called the Sunburst Colorway based on looking at other things. But I have another one too from that same purchase. So I started to make socks because I can start socks, I can make socks you know, with my eyes closed, you know, I might sometimes pull a fancy pattern, but I can make a vanilla sock, no problem. As I started knitting with this, I kind of had a sensory memory. All of a sudden, I'm going, oh my god, I've knit with this yarn before. Not this colorway, obviously, but I've knit with this yarn. And I'm like, oh no. The socks I made with this yarn years back shrunk. I mean, they are my socks, I try and keep them separated. I put everything in the washer. I have a um, high efficiency washer where there's no agitator. So I put everything in the washer and then um, some of the socks go in the dryer and some of them do not. And socks that aren't supposed to go in the dryer end up in a um, lingerie bag. But every now and then a sock will sneak in and end up in the dryer. And most of the time it's not critical. I mean, they shrink a little bit, but it's like, eh, okay, you can still wear them. The socks I made out of this yarn not only shrunk, but they felted and turned into iron. They were horrible. And, um, I mean, it was my own fault for washing them incorrectly. But I knew I did not want to make another pair of socks out of this yarn. This was, you know, because I know me. There's no way I'm going to be careful enough with them. And then all of a sudden I went, oh my god, all I have is with me is this yarn and this size needle. What am I going to do now? I had no idea what to do. 
So I ended up, and I, I'm looking, he's driving, I'm looking on Ravelry trying to find something, and I couldn't find anything. So I um, I cast on some stitches. Um, I did a little bit of ribbing, and then the concert was going to, I forgot what happened. Oh, uh, the, the, Nico Vega was one of the opening acts, and she was going to start, so I couldn't do the ribbing. So I started doing garter stitch. Um, so I basically have, there's no way I'm ever going to finish this into a scarf or something like that. I mean, for one thing, it would take forever. So it, the most it might ever happen is it might become a coaster, or it will just get frogged and um, return back to the ball of yarn. So this is my um, my twitchy uh, instead of having twitchy socks because I can't sit still. I have a twitchy coaster, which probably will get ripped out. But yeah, best friend was laughing at me a lot because here we are at a concert. I'm actually I actually really ended up enjoying the concert, and I'm singing and I'm dancing and I'm knitting. It's okay. <laughs> And periodically I'd stop and take pictures, but yeah. <laughs> um, just a sec. I did start another sock just today. Um, I had to take my car in for an oil change. And so I started a sock while I was at the dealership. And uh, except for, I'm going to switch these to the double points as soon as I rip that out. Um, so far, that's all I have five rows of two by two ribbing. But this yarn is from Knitter's Nightmare. It is one of the yarns that Sadie dyed, and she was donating the proceeds to um, local shelter or something like that. It was, it was in conjunction with the Snuggles Drive, or Pet Blanket Drive. But I don't have a picture of that. And the last thing I've been working on is for my son... Um, they're going to redo his bathroom to look like Minecraft. And I had showed you that I had gotten this pattern. This is a um, cross stitch of a creeper. So I mean, it's not huge. I just need to finish the the head. Um, and then there's a s down here. Um, and then I just need to uh, back stitch the outline. So it's actually almost done. Um, I've been keeping track on here. Um, so anything that's orange is something I've already done. I just kind of go through after I'm uh, after I'm done stitching for the night and color in the orange parts. And it's not super fancy on the back because since it's pixel, it's supposed to look like pixelated. The little blocks of color jump all over. So um, other times I've done cross stitch. I'm really trying to be nice and neat, and I kind of gave up on this and decided it just wasn't worth it. Um, Mom told me that she sometimes will actually have threads of different colors um, and just switch uh, needles, but I didn't do that. And there's like one, two, three, four, five different colors of green in it. So, all right, I got a picture of this one. there you saw my little needle minder. Um, I got this from Needle Nook. Um, just now I dropped it and it actually came unglued because it, where it dropped it hit something hard. Um, this board is magnetic and since I had these on each other the magnet from the back stayed here and when I pulled it this was no longer attached and it went flying. I will have to uh, work on reattaching it because I really, really like this. Um, uh, 
Wendy on Knit One Heart 2 got a needle minder from them and I had looked and when I saw the purple and the dragonflies was like, oh yeah, that's for me. And I believe that is everything. Like I said, I'm going to put pictures of some of the projects. Thank you so much to everyone um, who has been donating comfort shawls or making comfort shawls. Um, I've seen some beautiful ones. Um, Grandma K, Beagle Mom Knitter, uh, Sandy was Angel Mom 3, um, KPAR 62, Tiff, uh, Mom is working on one. Um, plus, she's donating a whole bunch of yarn. They don't know that yet, but I have a whole bag full of yarn. And um, I think that's everybody. And then uh, today I heard from. Catham, and I know some other people are working on some, so thank you so much. You have, with the anniversary of Dad's death coming up, it's uh, it's hitting all of us again. Um, so it's um, today I had one of those crying spurts again, and it wasn't really brought on by anything. It was just just miss him. So. I will talk to you guys all. Now, I will not be around. Um, I'm going to be at the Natopia Retreat, and then I'm going to be in Canada. And then I'm going to pick up my son, because it is going to be his spring break. So I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to record next. So I will try and keep it updated. Um, Hipcast had an issue where, even though it's been working fine, for months, for months I've been testing the HipCast feed. The week I switch everything, the HipCast feed went wonky. And they accidentally were sending the Flash video that's supposed to be for the website only instead of the um, .mov file. Now I have heard from um, Cece Java Pearl of the Geeky Girls Knit that on her Kindle, the file that doesn't play because they don't, it, it doesn't have a player for .mov. I did talk to HipCast. I suggested because I'm not loading a .mov file. I'm loading a MP4, which should play on everything. We did have some a little bit of discussions. They're talking about possibly changing to MP4 when they first started. MOV played on everything. Um, Either way, that did a lot better than the Flash video, which played on nothing. So, I did not check yet to see if they fixed it. They did admit that I was correct, that there was a, and, and looked at what I was looking at and went, oh my god, and they were going to fix it. But I haven't looked to see if they did because I just, I haven't had time. So, um, if you can't get to it, it will be working soon. Um, We'll see how this week's goes. And then uh, you can see it on the blog. You can see it on the Ravelry threads. You can see it on YouTube. Um, and if you haven't changed your feed yet or anything, and you were originally using the, the grabbing the blip one without using iTunes, that one seems to still be working because it's still downloading to my phone. So I don't know what blip is doing anymore. So, um... That was really a long way to say it will get fixed. So I will talk to you guys all next time, whenever that is. Bye now. Thank you.